Well, hello, Scorpio. Welcome to Josie K Tarot. I'm Josie K, and this is the first half of March 2019 Love and Romance Reading. I've had requests now for from quite a few people uh, to do Love and Romance Readings, so here we go. I have prayed over these cards, blessed them with my stones, and have asked Spirit to please provide me with uh, spiritual guidance for the Libra or group of Libras uh, who may need this message most. All right, so. <clears throat> Whew. The energies I'm feeling for this particular Scorpio energy for this free general reading has to do with uh, a Scorpio who's trying to figure out whether or not they should dedicate or rededicate themselves to another. This particular Scorpio is feeling like they are dealing with an obstacle when it comes to a commitment, a partnership, and or a marriage. They are receiving unexpectedly some form of communication that makes them feel really good about themselves. But at the same time, they're feeling burdened. They are trying to figure out the next chapter of their life. And now is a good time, right? Uh, spring is coming where we are to set our goals and intentions as we move into and through the next year and how we're going to achieve our goals and our intentions. This particular Scorpio is contemplating forward movement and they are hoping, wishing, and praying for this commitment or partnership. But they have risen to a higher spiritual level. So Spirit is asking me to ask this Scorpio to connect with your friends, to talk about this commitment or partnership, to take some time to think about where this connection is at. Uh, some Scorpios are wanting to reconcile with another, whom by which they may have been in a partnership with in the past. This Scorpio energy in the first week or two of March 2019 is thinking about kind words, messages, flowers, gifts, and or invitations and about their long-term future. They are contemplating communication by mid-March about traveling and or moving towards another. They're being guided to communicate what they want with this person who is in their thoughts. They want to move forward, to travel or to physically move back with and reconcile with another, but there is anxiety here because they feel as though this person has been deceptive or this person has an addiction and that situation those characteristics are what are clouding this Scorpio and causing them anxiety. What is the truth? Should I or shouldn't I reconcile? Hmm. So I'm going to be shuffling the Witch's Tarot deck by Ellen Dugan. And I'm going to be doing a circle spread to clarify these messages. Dear Lord, spirit guides and angels, please bless this person born under the sun sign, moon sign, and or rising sign of Scorpio with clearly defined messages regarding love and romance for the first half of March 2019. Okay. Yeah. So, they're thinking of someone who is carrying the energies of the Seven of Swords. Someone who has not been completely honest some Scorpios are thinking about sneaking away from a connection. They're hoping, wishing, and praying for a soulmate, maybe a new person to come their way so they can leave a situation behind. And yet at the same time, 
they're thinking about some form of reconciliation. In the first week, week and a half of March 2019, in their thoughts position of the circle spread, they are being blessed with the energies of the strength card. They're trying to have the strength to think to be sure that someone is or is not the right one. Now, for some Scorpios, they may already be in a commitment or they're thinking of someone who is in a commitment or, again, they're thinking about someone that they used to be committed to. This person could have Leo in their chart. But the burden is, is, what should I do? I've grown. I've learned. And now this temptation, these offers, this kind communication is coming back my way or is coming my way in the relationship sector representing the first week or two of march 2019 uh, this scorpio is wanting to decide on their home or business situation they're wanting to come back together as a family or to create a solid foundation as a family with another. By the second week of March 2019, they are coming to the realization or are trying to create an ending. They've come full circle when it comes to a previous journey in their life. And they're wondering if The person they're thinking of is the right one for them. Spirit saying it is indeed time to step into a new chapter in your life of your life in the year of 2019. At this time, remain optimistic about what it is you want to create going into the year of 2019. By mid-March 2019, this particular Scorpio is trying to get to know either someone new or they're trying to reconnect and see where the relationship stands at this point but they know for sure that they want to leave troubled waters behind they don't want to go through what they experienced in the past with another emotionally by mid-march 2019 they are going to be researching their financial circumstances Am I secure where I'm at? Should I be moving forward in some way to create more stability? I, okay, Spirit saying definitely Scorpio. Now is a good time to discuss with your friends your concerns. Should I stay with an energy or continue with an energy that has sly and cunning behavior? Or should I free myself and move on? In the subconscious position of the circle spread, we've got the five of wands. So subconsciously, this Scorpio is really frustrated. They're up in their head about whether or not they want to reconcile with another. They want to decide at this time how they're going to solidify their foundation, their home, their business, their circumstances as they go on into and through the year of 2019. Day to day, uh, they are starting to see the light at the end of the tunnel. That there could still be an opportunity to reconcile, but this person's really saying to themselves, if this person isn't going to be honest with me, I'm bringing the situation to a completion and I'm going to move on. Though part of me day to day is feeling like this could be the one. Do I want to stay or do I want to go? In their inner strengths position, they're being given the strength to retreat and to think about things before making a decision. Because I feel like this Scorpio wants to make a decision quickly in the first half of March 2019. Do I stay? Do I go? Some Scorpios may be dealing with someone who has Virgo in their chart with the Hermit energies. 
It may be a good time to sit down and discuss the future with this person and to observe if they want the same things as you do. Because at some point, you're going to see the light at the end of the tunnel. Some Scorpios are going to say, I'm bringing this to a completion and I'm going to communicate that I'm moving on. I'm traveling elsewhere. I am going in a different direction. But they're anxious about doing so. Yes, we have a Scorpio who is thinking about freeing themselves from another in the first week of March 2019. Uh, I believe that uh, karma, this Scorpio has good karma. There are new offers or opportunities coming towards this Scorpio. Communication is set to come regarding creativity, career finances, and or maybe even a connection with someone who has fire in their chart, Sag, Aries, or Leo, like we said before. They feel as if their ship is finally coming in. They have risen above what has taken place in their life in the past when it comes to a marriage commitment or partnership that has caused difficulty. And now they're hoping, wishing, and praying to move into a new direction. Though by the second week of March 2019, along comes these kind words and messages. And the Scorpio with the Four of Swords is saying, do I continue to put my energy into this situation that I have put three of my swords into when it comes to this battle? I need to communicate with my friends and research my finances. I need to think about, do I stay or do I cut away from this path altogether? Some Scorpios are going to feel like someone else is getting all the attention and recognition and they're this little twig over here frozen in the ice and alone. If that's the case, Spirit is going to help this Scorpio with the Temperance Angel to heal from what has transpired and to set new goals and intentions for the future. This Scorpio is indeed receiving a lot of recognition, attention, and or invitations to travel or move into a new direction. They have the chariot as a major arcana, so spirit is going to help guide this Scorpio to the path of success in their life. They are fearing someone who has is walking in their shadow side. They're making bad choices or they have some form of addiction. And with the lover's energies, this is a head or heart decision. Some may be trying to leave someone behind who was involved with or has air in their chart, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. They may have received financial security or stability from this person in the past or had children with this person. Or they're just trying to see, is this an equal commitment or partnership? But again, um, they've had enough. This particular Scorpio is tired of the pain and the frustration and the worry and the fear. For some Scorpios, you may be connecting with someone who has water in their chart, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, or a new playful connection. In the second week of March 2019, Scorpio, you're being blessed with the major arcana, the Empress energy. So Spirit is listening to your prayers and is watching the actions you are taking. And it is going to help for you to give birth to a new person, a circumstance, a situation, a new direction in your life. This particular Scorpio is trying to figure out who do I create a future with? Someone who is older, who has... In a, who is in a leadership position, who's financially abundant and secure, or whom ho owns their own business, someone who is older, who has earth in their chart, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, or someone who is very structured, organized, and disciplined. Sorry about my dogs. When they interrupt like that, it doesn't happen very often because I'm out in the country, I'm far away. <laughs> So from people. So spirit is saying choosing between maybe an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, or someone who has fire in their chart, Sag, Aries, or Leo. Okay? 
Who do I want to create a future with? This particular Scorpio may be feeling stuck and or trapped in some way with the Eight of Swords, but the Eight of Swords is but a figment of our imagination. We can take our mind, body, and soul, and we can move into any direction we so choose. Things may feel as though they're happening quickly, quick activity, movement, communication. But don't, Spirit saying, with the moon energies, fall into the energy of illusion. Focus on the truth of the situation. Again, pray to spirit for serenity, happiness, and a happily ever after. And spirit will guide you into the right direction with the major arcana, the star. Spirit will help to make your wishes come true, not only when it comes to your home environment, but when it comes to forward movement in your life. You've come a long way, Scorpio. And now it's time to contemplate how you can create a more fulfilling journey ahead in your path where you are this Nine of Pentacles energies, where you are financially independent and secure. Yes, someone around you may be carrying the energies of the King of Swords. They're very intense. They're harsh, maybe even with their words. They're very decisive and clear, and they are they can very easily cut someone out of their path. They may just want to get together and have a good time. But if this energy is causing you pain and anguish, frustration and worry, it is time to understand that that path is coming to a close. That it is time to take action and leave troubled waters behind so that you can move towards greater contentment and security in your life. By mid-March 2019, uh, look at this. There's a gift from the universe in the form of the Ace of Wands. A new passionate direction, a new creative and or financial direction, a new opportunity that you can get very excited about. Someone may act as though they're opening their heart up to you with the King of Cups energies or Spirit saying, listen to your intuition. Use the energies of the Queen of Swords to speak your truth about your goals and intentions for your future. And don't be afraid to very kindly, fairly, and justly cut someone out of your path. Even if it appears as though their heart is open to you. Be careful of the Seven of Cups, the energies of fantasy. Spirit is always trying to guide you towards these two cups here that represent happiness and joy. They don't want you to waste your time feeling sad about what was. Something is set to fall apart. There will be some form of realization. You may have to give someone the truth that it's time to move on. And Spirit's giving you the Queen of Wands energies to set goals and meet goals and to not give up as you are very excited about the goals you are setting for your future. So spiritual advice for the first half of March 2019 with the Hangman energies is to stop and look at things from every perspective before making a decision. And then with the Ace of Swords as a gift from the universe, uh, it is time to cut away from negative people, places, circumstances, and situations so that you can honor your truth of what makes you happy and find victory in your life. Yes, there could be new offers of love, but this particular Scorpio is feeling indecisive. Know that the Wheel of Fortune is turning in your favor. I believe that this particular Scorpio is being guided into a new direction whereby there will be a new commitment. I just heard spirits say, free yourself from the deception of others. Call in your soulmate through your prayers. Pray to spirit for peace, joy, happiness, and contentment, and spirit will guide you into the right direction. A new beginning. 
so you can sweep away from the energy of someone who is carrying negativity, making bad decisions in their life. Okay, so I'm pulling one card. Wow. From the Archangel Michael Oracle deck by Doreen Virtue. Hmm. And the card I have pulled for this Scorpio is make a commitment to yourself first and foremost about what is in your highest best good and in the highest best good of those whom love you. Spirit is telling you that the situation is already resolved. We are moving you and or you and your children for some Libras into the better path. So be gentle with yourself. You've done nothing wrong. Prayer will help you find your life's purpose, the direction by which you are meant to go. Whatever situation you have created, you have the power now to change it. So keep a journal and write down about your thoughts and feelings. It's time to detach from a situation. It's a time to have confidence. So your prayer, Scorpio, for the first half of March is Archangel Michael as the angel of courage and confidence. I call upon you to lead, lend me your strength. Allow me to commit to myself, my life, and my divine purpose. Please clearly guide me so that I can fully open my heart to every experience that comes my way. Again, if you'd like a personal reading, I am available at my email, which is josiek42 at gmail.com. My price list will be in the window below, and I am still offering that uh, winter special, which is a 15-minute video reading for just $25 if you'd like to give it a try. Thank you for stopping by. Please like, share, and subscribe. Please donate if that is a possibility, for it helps me to keep doing what I do day to day. Take care, and God bless.